I've just had one of the most disturbing experiences in nine years of campaign against anti-Semitism. We've got billboard vans which have been driving around London showing the faces of the children kidnapped by Hamas with the call to bring them home. That's all that's on the billboard vans. They were out this evening shooting video of the vans, passing various landmarks, and right in front of Big Ben, I got a call from the volunteers who were shooting the pictures, really shaken up. They'd been stopped by protesters. <laughs> And then police had turned up and told them to turn off the billboards and clear out of central London, otherwise there would be, quote, a breach of the peace. And I was just astonished by this. How on earth could the police stop people in central London, in our capital, from showing the pictures of children kidnapped by a terrorist organization banned by our government. How could they possibly do that? How could they turn on the victims of terror? And so I went down to have a look and try the route again. And sure enough, the police turned up and told us for our own safety that we couldn't show the billboards. Not only that, what they did is they asked me to step across the road with them for my own safety, supposedly, so that I didn't get hit by a cyclist. They then instructed the drivers to turn off the billboards and to clear the area. And they wouldn't let me cross back over to listen to the conversation or talk to our own drivers. They actually physically restrained me from trying to speak to the drivers or hear the conversation because they said they were worried about me crossing the road. That's what it's come down to in central London. The question I ask you when you watch this footage is who are the police protecting? The victims of terrorism? The Jewish community? Or is it the sensibilities of people who sympathize with terrorists who are banned by our country? Sorry. What, what's the problem? Is that okay to talk to you on this side of the road? Yeah. yeah. We talk on, on the paper. Is it yourself who's funded this? The yeah, like, we're the charity, yeah. We're the, we're the charity that's all the charity yeah. that's funded these. Okay. What's the problem with it? So, yep. this is the gentleman who's part of the charity that's funded Hi. this. Hi. Yeah. Apparently. Obviously, you know that there's a vigil going on down the oh. other end. We're just driving around, we've been doing it this week and we're driving around London. These are also kids who've been kidnapped by Hamas. We're entitled to do it. Well, where's your, where's your next direction? Where are you heading? We're going to be then? going down Downing Street, then Trafalgar Square and then onwards. Okay, and what time are you planning on... At why have you told him to turn it off? Excuse me, why, why has the guy been told to turn off the... Why has he been told to turn it off? On what legal basis has he been asked to do that? Word with yeah. Sir, sir, sir. Okay. I don't want you to get run over by Okay, car. you're holding Obviously. me back and no, you're I'm telling me... You you're, you've just told sir, him to turn that off. I'm you've just told him to turn that off. Why, why are the police holding me back and telling them to turn the vans off? Why are they doing that? You can talk to them in a second. Okay, why, why have they just been... I'd like to speak to the person who's giving instructions. No, no, excuse me, why are you holding... Okay, someone, someone is giving instructions to turn off our vans. They're private property. They are entitled to do what they are doing. Yeah. Why are they being told to do they that? They are entitled to, but yeah. at the same time, we want to make sure that they're safe, their, their property is safe, and what we don't want to do is have people coming this way and doing any damage to their vans. Right, so if they're happy to drive around London, which they were, until you pulled them over and stopped them... We haven't and told, them you, you have, you've told them to stop. Look, there's a police officer there who's told them to, them to stop. asked them to move into a different place.